Turn into first alert weather. Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget. A little bit of rain on the radar this evening. And it's much needed rain. And we were looking at the potential of some stronger storms, really not holding any strong limits or severe limits. But the threat was somewhat there today. A little further to the west, up near Bowie, stretching down to near Mineral Wells. We do have some of that rain making its way on in through parts of Monte County, stretching our way down through parts of Palo Pinto County, also into the Jack County area, making its way from west east. You notice the cloud cover also here in North Texas. Maybe a couple of sprinkles around and we might see a couple of passing showers over the next few hours as you see on the first alert future cast from now until about 9 30 or 10 some isolated showers here or there the rain chance not very high going through the remainder of the evening hours now the future cast for tomorrow morning it's a little bit different so let me plan your Wednesday a little bit more coverage on the way with our rain chance around 40 percent we might between see between about six to near seven o'clock a couple of stronger storms in the east sides of North Texas from Collin County to near Kaufman County and lifting northeast, but I don't expect to see any really severe storms popping up. And then some scattered showers in the late morning hours, then tapering off a bit into the afternoon. Dry lines going to develop out to the west. We might see some storms try to initialize 4 to 5 to 6 o'clock. Forecast ball, though, showing they really don't have a good chance of really get going. So uh, we'll keep our eyes on that. The dry line's still around on Thursday, still some scattered showers there. And this forecast model a bit more aggressive with dry line storms going into Thursday night and into Friday. So a chance of showers and storms in the forecast pretty much every single day. We're going 40% tomorrow, Thursday 20%. We might bump it up a little bit Thursday night if we see another run of that forecast model in a better agreement of some of those dry line storms. Friday and Saturday rain chances at 20%. However, the last part of the weekend and into Monday, a slow moving front brings better rain chances. So let's walk through that. Here we are going to Sunday morning. Sunday's not your good weekend day. So some showers, maybe some isolated storms around. They do roll along the frontal boundary late Sunday into Monday. By the time we go into Monday morning when we're waking up, a lot of the activity well down towards the south and east. So we're going to be dealing with some much needed rain on the way in some spots, picking up maybe a three tenths of an inch to near an inch and a half in some localized spots as the showers move through and as that slow front moves through, adding on to that just a little bit. Now, right now it's cloudy at DFW and 72 degrees, still a breeze day with our winds out of the south southeast at 20 gusting up to 30 we're at 70 Decatur 73 Arlington 72 Mesquite 66 in Bowie 69 in Greenville so temperatures will continue to cool down tonight only to the mid 60s so a warm night tonight setting up the day for a warm day tomorrow temperatures warming their way on up as we're going to see here on the extended forecast into the 80s upper 80s Wednesday Thursday 86 by the time we get to Sunday cooler air on the way for us as that rain moves through by Tuesday drying out